first thing that comes to your mind is you. Oh my God, you are just a ding dong. I'm not okay with what is happening in front of the guests. You leave that phone back there one more time, that's your ass. Undercover bosses have had to suffer some degree of insults from their employees while working in their organization. In this video, we shall look at some of the employees who have insulted their bosses on the show. Here, I'm not a slave. I don't work for you. With some people, I just want to punch them in the face sometimes. Members, they're, they're literally stupid. They don't know anything. Let's start with Wes, the kitchen manager at Buffalo and Wings, who keeps spitting offensive words at his undercover boss. He gives some unfavorable comments about how the undercover boss looks at the beginning. Pete is dressed like a dork. He's got the scumbag gold chain, the thick nerd glasses, shiny bald head. He seems very soft. His next words when the undercover CEO steps out are not really encouraging. Damn. If you're going to work back here with me, man, you're going to have to get the lead out of your ass. You seem kind of slow moving so far, so... The CEO makes some blunders while preparing some fries, and the kitchen manager once again has this to say. What do you got going on here, man? I got all kinds of stuff going on. I would have that out 15 minutes okay. ago. So now we'll sweep up the gigantic mess you've made on the floor. I'm sorry. Hurricane Pete. What an ass. The kitchen manager's complaints are not limited to the undercover CEO alone, as he says this about other employees. The average person that works back here, I'm not going to sure go up there dumbass. You can't ask dumb people to do smart things. Well, the kitchen manager is one hell of a bully. I'm cringing on the inside when I hear Wes speak. It's a classic definition of a bully. Go on, back in the room. Here, this shift supervisor at Moe's Southwest Grill demonstrates a demeaning way of speaking with your fellow employees at work. The CEO is not spared too. First thing, I'm going to show you how to roll a burrito. I'm going to show you one time. If you don't understand, don't ask me again. Ask one of them. So Why are you being ask. so strict? Because this is how I am with everybody. The CEO is surprised that he acts like this on the first day of meeting him, and then he says this to another employee. You're gonna take over from here. You hear me? Take over. He's a little bit too direct for, for just meeting me today. But Tito doesn't stop there. He throws occasional jibs at the employees and the CEO, and he does this whenever a new customer walks in. Welcome to Moe's. A little bit louder. Every time, Mark, every time. Welcome to Moe's. The undercover boss complains that Tito's attitude seems inappropriate and abusive to him and the other employees, but it doesn't stop there. Someone's not saying something. Welcome to Moj. I don't like being yelled at. Welcome, Welcome to Moj. You guys say it? Sometimes, it's best to go undercover at the front desk of your organization because that's where most customers get their first and most lasting impression from. The CEO of Metro Fitness soon learns that his front desk employee acts like this. Know, but most of the time I'm kind of just like this. Here, all right, so I'm walks in. Hey, how you doing? Is that why you work? Yep. The undercover CEO is surprised and asks her if she's been able to attend to customers appropriately. Then she starts with the inappropriate words. That's actually never happens to me. People love to interrupt here. I'm not a slave. That's not all she has to say to this undercover boss. She has some words for the members too. And then they come up here and they're like, well, what does protein do? Dude, the f you don't know what protein does? Well, that's all she had to say about members and customers at the gym. Now, let's hear what she has to say about the undercover CEO. Let's get to something important. Do you want to do smoothies? It's super explanatory, like you would be literally brain dead if you can't get it. They both agree about the contents of the menu and what the customers need, but then she says this. We're not supposed to put more than what it says on the menu. And it says on the menu, one pump. I always put two and a half. It tastes better, honestly. She asks him to make something, and that's when the real issues begin. Do you want to show me how to make a shake, just so I know before I let you go? Sure, if you'd like. You like? Yeah. OK. Are we doing it uh, the way it says? No, you're going to do it the way I told you. Anyone can have a bad day at work, but would you relentlessly belittle customers and the efforts of an undercover boss because of it? This front desk employee wants her undercover boss to do things differently, but he keeps doing things according to the exact measurements in the company book. Good luck, buddy. I'm going to need it today. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> no, you just do it full cup. You do it in the full cup? You don't have to go by the book with every situation in your life. Sometimes, you cannot tell what employees think about you as a CEO, and in this case, this staff makes fun of his undercover boss. Here is what he says about the CEO to the undercover boss. Do you think this is the right way to go about it? 
Originally, we were talking about those windows that I missed. You know, instead of rushing into something, we want to make sure that it's absolutely perfect and it looks great. So we get to do this all over yeah. again, which is a good thing.